Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shannon and I'm a pet portrait artist specialising in coloured pencils. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create outlines using tracing paper in order to save time and ensure the drawing is in the right place on the paper every time. Before I start with the tutorial, I want to talk about the controversy surrounding tracing and how some people see it as cheating. But personally, I don't think using tracing paper is cheating. And in fact, I was always taught to use it throughout GCSE art and A-level fine art alongside freehand drawing to improve my skills. So if you're creating realistic drawings or paintings, it's important to achieve a likeness to the subject. And luckily for us artists, there are tools and methods out there to help us and tracing paper is just one of them. Other methods include the grid method, art projectors and light boxes, all of which are designed to help you and using them doesn't make you any less of an artist than someone who chooses to freehand all of their outlines. That's what I love about art, there are no rules and you're free to create whatever you want, however you want. I believe that you could give 10 different artists the same traced outline and the outcome would be 10 completely different pieces of art with their own style and their own feel to it once you've applied all of the colours. That's not to say that you shouldn't challenge yourself. Every now and then I think it's good to improve your drawing skills by practising some freehand drawing to help you understand the shapes and proportions as this is important when you start to add the colour later. So how do you trace an outline from your reference photo onto the drawing paper? First of all, you want to have your reference photo in front of you and I like to use my iPad for this as I can easily resize the image. But if you don't have a tablet or an iPad, you can just print out the reference photo instead and you'll just have to play around with the size of the photo and maybe print it out in sections if you're doing something larger scale. Next, I like to cut a piece of tracing paper so that it's the same size as the paper that I'm drawing on. And this means that when I scale the image on my iPad, I can make sure it's the perfect size on the paper. I purchased my AFE tracing paper from Hobbycraft, but you can get it in almost any art shop. The pencil that I like to use is a standard Stadler, I never know how to pronounce that, Norris School Pencil in HB2 and it's important that the pencil isn't too hard and light and has actually got some softness to it because you want your outlines to be quite bold and visible. Once I have my paper cut to the right size, I start playing around with the size of the photo on my iPad. And then once I'm happy with the size, I screenshot the photo in sections so that I have every part of the subject visible at the right scale. I do this because when you're tracing over the screen later and you're moving your hand around, the photo might start to like zoom in and out, which is hard work. And trust me, I learned the hard way, so I find it's better to screenshot the sections. Next, I use some masking tape and stick my tracing paper to my iPad, making sure to position it so that I can get the whole drawing on the paper without it going off the edge. Then I turn the lights out, shut the blinds so that I'm in a dark room this makes it easier to see the photo beneath the paper. Then I literally just start drawing over the main areas that I can see, using a ruler to rest my hand on so that it doesn't make the screen jump around and go all funny. And I just make do with what I have and I find that this works for me. You can make the outline as detailed or as basic as you like. I tend to go for somewhere in the middle and then once you've completed the section, I then remove the paper, swipe across to the next screenshot and then match the outline up with the photo so that I can continue drawing over the next section of the photo and then continue doing this until you have a finished initial outline. Have your outline, it's time to flip it over and draw over the whole thing again. I like to turn the lights back on at this point and grab a piece of standard printer paper so that you can see the outline more clearly while also preventing it from transferring to your desk. You'll notice that once you start to draw over the outline on the back side of the paper, there'll now be some little lines on the printer paper when you lift the tracing paper up. I like to press on quite hard for this part as it'll make it easier to transfer the pencil over when we flip it once again. So in total, we draw the outline three times, which might seem excessive, but 
it's entirely necessary and the reason that we flip the paper over is so that you can add the pencil marks to the back and then there's something to transfer onto your drawing paper when you flip it and go over it once again. It does take some time but I still find it much quicker than freehanding my outlines. Once you've gone over every little bit of the outline, turn the tracing paper over and grab your drawing paper. Now it's time to decide where you want the placement of your outline and then once you've got it in the right place and you're happy with it, pop another little bit of masking tape on and trace over the whole thing once again. Don't press too hard this time because you can get some little indentations in the drawing paper but just make sure that you're pressing hard enough so that the outline transfers nice and clearly. Once you're done, there you have it. A clean, crisp outline that is a good foundation for your coloured pencil drawings or whatever medium it is that you're using. I have used this method before on pastel matte paper and on wood painted with gesso, like a primer coat, and it did work for both of those two. So just have a play around and see if it works for the surface that you're using. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and found it useful and I'll be drawing this robin for my next real-time tutorial series here on YouTube, so look out for that. And I'll be sharing the line drawing that I've created here if you'd like to draw along with me. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it as it helps me out massively and subscribe if you'd like to see more art videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.